Hey, good morning. What we're uh, taking a look at this morning is this uh, Maxwell uh, Super Capacitor. This is a commercially available uh, capacitor. Uh, this particular one says PC10, 2.5 volt, 10 farad. Okay, and uh, we're going to uh, disassemble this to see uh, what type of construction and materials uh, might be inside a uh, commercial super cap. So here's one here where I've uh, slipped through the outer case. Uh, what we've got is a sealed uh, can here. It's non-magnetic. I'm assuming it's, uh, well, you know, there's a little bit of magnetism there, not much. But I'm assuming this is a stainless uh, case, uh, sealed not unlike the little uh, 2032 uh, disc cells. So we're going to be back in a minute uh, after we've ground through the edges of this and open it up and see what we've got. Three of the sides ground off here. Looks like we might have done a little damage, but I'm sure we can uh, get a pretty good picture of what's inside here. I'll try to uh, be delicate to save some of the structure here. Okay, here's the two leads. Uh, one was attached through this little hole right here. Looks like we've got some type of a uh, plastic insulator. All right, now uh, the uh, one lead was attached to the case which made contact with this aluminum foil here it looks like. So we'll unwrap that. Alright, this aluminum foil wrapped around the outside and uh, that's interesting here. So, contact on the outside there, the outside of this surface as I unwind this, open it up, contact on these two surfaces. So the can to the foil to this uh, cloth here. Now if we, uh, let's see, kind of delicately uh, open up this uh, cloth. I'm going to guess we've got a carbon impregnated uh, electrode there. We'll uh, set that aside here. So, so far uh, can, foil, cloth, and now paper separator. I can feel a little dampness here, but certainly no liquid or gel. So there's uh, a paper separator. I certainly wouldn't call that a uh, Nafion or anything fancy polymer there. Okay. Now another uh, carbon impregnated cloth and that cloth was folded over this foil here which obviously contacted the other electrode. So we have a foil, carbon, paper, carbon uh, cloth here. I'm going to see if I can get you maybe a little bit better view. You can almost see there where there's uh, some uh, porosity to this. One side, I, uh, I'm going to call it a, a silvery coating. Don't really know what that is. 
And but if I hold it, if I hold it up to the light, I'm sorry, you can't see this, but if I hold this up uh, to the light, I can actually uh, see through it here. So it's impregnated, but uh, there's certainly no thick layer on it. So uh, there we have it. If I uh, look on the back side of this again, is that a coating or a coloring? Hard to say. Hard to say what's on the back side there. If we wanted to uh, calculate the, uh, the area of this, let's take the area of one of these electrodes. Okay, we've got um, pretty close to, well, I'm going to call it exactly uh, 25 uh, millimeters wide. And uh, in terms of the, uh, the length of that electrode, uh, pretty close to, well, just under 72. Let's call it 72 by uh, 25 millimeters for the two electrodes. So that amount of area yields um, 10 farads. And this is a nominal 2.5 volts, so this is obviously more than just uh, a simple uh, aqueous uh, electrolyte in there. Anyway, for what it's worth, uh, glad to share that with you. I guess if you look real close here on this inner tinfoil, looks like it was wrapped around. And uh, you can see, if it'll focus here, yeah, you can see, barely see the little electrode coming out from that. So anyway, that's where we're at today. I'm glad to share this with you. With you. If anyone else has any uh comments or additional information, uh, please uh, send them in. Thanks.